Wow. All I have to say, TNA, final resolution, is in a few weeks away. And the first show after Turning Point was actually one of the greatest shows in a while. I mean, honestly, they may have a, they may have a decent pay-per-view, but that show was just full of surprises. Let me tell you. First off, the new belt, of course, you know, there's some spoilers, and they showed it off during the tapings, kind of looked like, there were some people that said it looked like the Divas title, some people that looked, said it kind of looked worse, the Divas title, some people said it looked great, some people said it was a great move to piss off the fans even more, and to help with the heel turn of Immortal, which is true, and which is brilliant, but... The greatest comment of the night, I swear to God, this came from Twitter um, an hour ago or so. <laughs> they said they put Olmec from Legend of the Hidden Temple on there. And if you guys remember that show, you know why I'm kind of laughing at that. Because honestly, it's kind of true. <laughs> Olmec from the Legend of the Hidden Temple. God, I love that. But seriously, to be honest, I love the new belt. And, uh, speaking of new belts, let me, let me just tell you right now. TNA new belts are out, and they're actually pretty cool. I mean, look at this. It looks like almost a real fucking thing. All the diamonds and shit. That looks pretty nice. I mean, look at that. Goddamn. I might use that for a promo. Like I did for this one a while back, which is also still looks pretty damn good. It looks like the real damn thing, almost. And we'll probably and uh, they're apparently calling the new belt the Immortal Title, which kind of makes sense. But I just love the overall design of the belt and just the color of the strap. I mean, who uses a purple strap for a belt? That's probably the first one in history. If there's if there ever was one, to be honest, because if there was one, it had to be probably in an indie promotion or something like that. Because I don't remember a purple belt strap, which is pretty cool. But, again, I mean, the shocks of the show. Devon and, uh, you know, besides the fact that Devon and Team Freddy are going to break up. But, Bubba Ray, after 15 years of, of Team Freddy, turns on Bu Devon Dudley. I'm just going to say it right now. Since wrestling's become a little more predictable because of the because of WWE, it takes a lot to shock me. That shocked me. I mean, honestly, I would have never seen that coming in a million years. Speaking of turns, speaking of turns, um, somehow. Rhino was the mole for EV2. EV2 is losing members faster, faster than Nexus was losing members. And that's saying something. And, and like you're probably hearing on this, uh, in the background, uh, watching reaction, one of the biggest shocks of the night, which isn't really a shock, but the referee from the um, World Heavyweight Championship match was a referee for Morgan versus Beer Money and Williams in a free one handicap match. If Morgan won, which he did, it will now be at final resolution. Jeff Hardy versus Matt Morgan for the Immortal World Heavyweight Championship. And to be honest with you, the referee was the main concern of the turning point matchup because it if you look at it, Matt Morgan could have won the matchup. Matt Morgan had the free count, but the leg kicked out. Like, I, like, watch. Here's the leg from the kick out. One, um, two, he lets go. And the leg, you know, the leg, you know, has a reflex. The reflex hits the referee. Referee is a kick out. That's probably a horrible reflex animation thing there, but whatever. I don't care. 
fact is, the referee fucked up. And, well, Matt Morgan, be honest, you may beat a seven-foot foot giant one time, but how many times can you beat a giant? How many times can you beat the most athletically stacked, genetically jacked superstar in history? Which is why, unfortunately, for all the Hardy fans, if there still are some, <laughs> I like myself. But nonetheless, I'm going to go with Matt Morgan. Just because of that size advantage. And to be honest, I think Hardy just got lucky there. Because there were times where Hardy still didn't get the pin. And he barely got it after like three twists of hates. And we could have seen a swanton. We probably could have seen a swanton, but we didn't. We saw Whisper in the wind, though. But you never know with these things. Final resolution in a few weeks' time.